These are my California Liar Snake enclosures. These are captive bred babies, well, juveniles. They're about a year and a half old. Should be able to attempt breeding them in about another year and a half. This is Hot Sauce, the female. Always ready to strike at me. And Spicy Boy, the male, is either in his choa wood or he's in that little rock hide there. These guys are rear fanged, mildly toxic colubrid. They use both their mild venom and constriction to subdue their prey which in the wild consist of lizards, uh, possibly other snakes, uh, small birds, nestlings mostly, uh, bats, and small rodents. And these guys right now are feeding exclusively, since I've had them, on mice. Uh, mostly because they won't take anything else from me. I did try to give them some Reptilinx, the quail Reptilinx, and they had no interest in them whatsoever. And I don't have access to feeder lizards, and I don't want to get them hooked on those, so I'm going to avoid those for now. Uh, they basically are eating two to three fuzzies at a time about every 10 to 15 days on average. And they could eat hoppers probably, but they have really slender necks. So I don't like to push it with the prey size. So I figure two to three fuzzies, which barely leaves a lump in them, is better than one larger item that could potentially injure them. I tried to go for a semi-naturalistic look here with their setups. Uh, the substrate is a mix of sand and clay so that it's actually compact and hard on top and there's actually very little loose, very little loose substrate there. Uh, they do like to climb so I try to give them a little bit of opportunity for that. Um, as they get older, I'll move them into taller enclosures that'll give them a lot more opportunity. But as juvenile snakes and ones that are pretty rarely seen in captivity, I want to keep a close eye on them. So they're in smaller enclosures for now. There's very few people that have these in captivity that I'm aware of, um, and even fewer still that have been able to breed them successfully. So I'm hoping to be able to be part of that club once these guys are old enough. I'd show you Spicy Boy, but he is hiding. So I'll probably just uh, stick a picture up there. Anyway, that is them. They're on a seedling heating mat, um, which covers half, about half of each enclosure, and it's uh, connected to a dimmer switch, so I can control the level of heat output. They do like it dry. Um, I don't put a water dish in with the, their enclosures. They typically won't drink in them anyway. They just poop in it, and it gets rancid pretty quick. Uh, these guys' poop is more like lizard poop or bird poop than most other snake poop. And uh, so for water, I just mist them occasionally, and every once in a blue moon, I'll take them out and give them a light soak for 15 or 20 minutes, and they get enough water that way.
Anyway, if you have other questions or if you'd like to see more of these guys, just uh, leave something in the comments for me. Don't forget to give a like, a share, a subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, anyway, hope you like it. Wish I could see more of this guy for you, but uh, like I said, maybe I'll get some video later and plug that in after. Or uh, a picture. Anyway. We'll finish that off with hot sauce.